Since the 1970s, we've seen comic book references to the Green Arrow's love for chili that is so hot it'll test the willpower of a Green Lantern. In Green Arrow Secret Files and Origins, Volume 1 from December 2002, we are treated to a recipe for Ollie's stupendous chili, which is based on writer Scott Mickler's own chili recipe. The chili is portrayed as hotter than Superman's heat vision, with Martian Manhunter reliving the fires of Mars. It makes Aquaman want to dive into the water, and even has the Man of Steel employing his own super breath to bring the chili under control. And so today I'm going to take a crack at Ollie's stupendous chili and see if I end up like Hal Jordan or if I tank it like Batman. For our spices we'll need one tablespoon each of California chili, hot New Mexico chili and a chili powder blend, one teaspoon of black pepper and cayenne and two teaspoons of paprika. Next we'll cut up our beef, onion and green capsicum into small manageable pieces and mince the garlic. Add the meat to a large hot pot. I'm using a multi cooker today because they have a great range of temperature control allowing me to brown the meat but also to dial it in later to slow cook everything perfectly. Once the meat has picked up some colour, add in the spices and cook that until it becomes fragrant. Now we can add in the vegetables and garlic. Cook them until soft. Now add in one can each of chopped tomato and tomato puree, along with half a cup of water, two teaspoons of cumin and half a teaspoon of basil. And now we let that simmer for at least four hours. And while we wait, if you haven't already, you could think about hitting that like button or even becoming a subscriber. 10 minutes before serving, add in some brown sugar and Tabasco along with two cans of partially drained red kidney beans. And then return it to one final simmer. As a serving suggestion, they recommend grated cheese, chopped raw onion and salted crackers. Let's try this out. This chili has a nice rich flavour. All the ingredients complement each other very well. The heat of the dish has been toned down because of all the tomatoes and beans that we've added into it, but it does still have a small kick to it in the back of your throat, but I would still consider this a relatively mild chili. The recipe called for a very lean cut of beef, but for this kind of slow cooking, I would have used something with a bit more fat and connective tissue. It would have boosted the meatiness in the flavors. I may revisit this chili in the future to see if I can make it even hotter. Something that would really burn your mouth off and do Oliver Queen proud. 